So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a cookie notice on a Webflow site. Um, just to give you a heads up, there is two different uh, cookie notices. Uh, one is called uh, usually cookie notice, something that tells the user that we are using cookies on this website. And um, by proceeding to use our website, you agree to our you know, privacy policy or using cookies, you basically accept the idea of accept that we will use cookies and we'll install cookies on your computer. That's the idea of a cookie notice. And then there's the second one, which is cookie note, uh, cookie consent. Now consent implies that you need to get the permission from the user to get the cook, to install a cookie and uh, use cookies on a user's computer. So this, um, what is, what are these cookies, right? So these cookies are, if you are on this video, probably, you already know that you have to install it if you are serving clients in European Union and some other parts like California. And uh, it's a law that was adopted uh, by European Union uh, called GDPR, General Privacy something. And uh, it works in European Union. So if you are serving European Union clients, people who are in European Union, and uh, most uh, uh, other countries are soon going to follow the suit and uh, a lot of countries like California has already adopted that and some other countries are working on it as well so they'll adopt this same uh, law and um, so in uh, GDPR in the European Union um, there is two types which is one you uh, tell the user that we are using cookies but the second one you have to get the permission before you can do that so in this video i'm going to show you how to do the first one which is a bit easier now second one which is to get the permission it's a bit more complicated and um, it's usual it's best to be done probably like uh, google tag manager and uh, uh, consent uh, there is this uh, google started to uh, roll out this new mode called Google Consent Mode. So if you're using Google Analytics or Google uh, uh, Tags, Tag Manager or, or any other uh, Google products, you'll be able to uh, use Google Consent Mode and that will help you set up uh, in a way that you get the consent first, get the approval, and then install those cookies on our flow site. Uh, in this case, we're gonna do with this more of a, um, a simple way, which covers a lot, but there's still a, actually a lot of big debate on um, if this is allowed anymore, because some, uh, by GDPR it's allowed, but then there is this new thing called a privacy directive, which sort of doesn't allow it, you, which basically says that if you want to install cookies on a user's computer, you have to ask for the consent. So there is uh, contradictory information as I search, so it's complicated. I'm not gonna uh, give you this because uh, cookie law is like as complicated as this international tax law. So I'm not gonna give you advice on what's correct and what's not because I'm not a legal advisor and even legal advisors don't quite know yet because the law is quite contradictory in many different places. But as it's getting more specific, you'll see. So for now, a lot of websites uh, still are using this uh, notice mode, which is they are telling user that uh, we are using it uh, and you kind of close that notice and that's it and you continue. But some websites like Google, for example, if you go on uh, incognito mode inside Google and if you are in uh, European Union, let's give it a try, you're gonna get, you won't be able to actually use the site. Uh, I actually have uh, this uh, nice uh, extension that blocks cookies, uh, these cookie notices, which is great. So this, uh, <clears throat> um, so you get this notice, I, my extension just blocked it, but we cannot see it. So you get this notice that doesn't allow you to use the site until you kind of <laughs> remove it, hack and remove that notice or you agree to it. But many other websites, they're still using uh, this notice. So if you think this notice is a good thing to use, go ahead. If you don't, then you're going to have to find a way how to install the other complicated version. So this is a free option. There is other uh, 
uh, options that I found on YouTube that people show and they're paid so that kind of sucks right so this is a free option um, that I use it's by Osano this uh, website they used to have this um, open source now they're they have a paid version as well that it, you, you get a bit more gadgets and features in there but they still offer this open source version of it so that's what we're gonna uh, install i'm gonna link this uh, in the description and um, just to show you a few things uh, so this is how you can see uh, and yeah one thing you don't need to use a cookie notice if you're not using cookies so by default regular website that you build on website uh, webflow you're not installing any cookies until you are using uh, analytics or facebook pixel or something like that some third-party application that is gonna install a cookie for one reason or another um, in this case uh, you can check on your website through this is google chrome and in google chrome this is how you can check you can go click this lock and inside this lock there is uh, they will show you cookies that this website is using and installing uh, on your on uh, your device uh, so this is my website right and it says that there are two cookies but in reality these aren't technically you know those sort of important cookies that everybody talks about and that law kind of is um because this is mainly a session session cookie that just just the fact that i am on the website it sort of temporarily does this it's not even as you can see it's, there's no data or anything inside so no, no information is being saved that's why it tells you no cookie selected so it's not technically well it is probably a cookie but not the one that would be um that we would need to tell them that we are using and this is probably what browser puts it so we so browser knows that uh, saves it as a history that you have visited the site so probably nothing that we are actually doing here that would go against the gdpr um, and all those cookie laws um, but if you go on some other website you'll see let's say for example here there's going to be a lot more cookies 12 in use and you'll see that you get this sort of folder that actually says cookies and they're gonna have weird things like this that are have more data inside and some different not this how about here cookies see a lot more cookies that actually have some data inside and this is how you can check uh, what cookies you are using so let's now install so here uh, when you get to this uh, not this big button but you want to go to this uh, unassuming little link uh, download open open source and this is going to give you a nice um, guided okay one more step uh, you're going to have to click start coding here they are making um, best <laughs> trying their best to make you get to the hosted version so you can pay for it and um, so here we will be able to configure our cookie notice and um, first one is position and when you click on it it's going to show you different ways that it's going to be displayed so this is very neat actually i love what they've done here uh, it's one of the best that i've found there's many different cookie providers but they most of them kind of you know suck this one was pretty good uh, i do like the one that is not that huge so something yeah floating on the right and then layout i like classing because it's nice and small and rounded then you can choose the palette that uh they already have but you can also provide um, your own uh, website colors so there is a banner color you can change that or put the hex hex code inside the hexadecimal code and you can change that as well and there is a link uh, this link is what learn more is here right uh, if you have a privacy policy page then you would uh, link it to the privacy policy page uh, compliance type so this is the compliance type that i was talking about so this one just tells the user that we are using cookies and then there's two other advanced options that says opt out or opt in and uh, i'm not gonna go there because uh, i myself don't know how to install that and um, you can change the message here and you can change the button let's say fine by me you can change learn more you can change it to a different language as you wish and once you configure everything you have to copy these two codes one is css another is uh, javascript uh, so let's um, copy 
Uh, well, it's actually HTML code, but it's links to a CSS file. So we are going to install this. Now, depending if you are installing this on a particular page, because that's where you have, I don't know, sometimes you might have cookie only on one page, then you don't have to install it on across the entire site. You can just install it on that particular page. And if you do so, you would uh, go here. So in the page, you go to the page that you are installing this, in this case here, and then go scroll all the way bottom and you get this head and uh, body text uh, where you can place your uh, code. But yeah, make sure uh, to do this, you will need to have Webflow's either hosted plan for the website or paid plan on Webflow. Otherwise, you won't be able to do that. Uh, custom code is a paid function, so you're going to have to already uh, have the hosted, set, uh, uh, hosted site. Yeah. And uh, if you are installing on the entire site, which is probably what you're doing, you'll go to project settings. And inside project settings, you're gonna go to custom code. And then you're gonna get these same exact fields as well. And what did this, so this guy told us install before head tag. So head tag is here. Um, inside head tag before closing head tag, it's the same thing, depends how they define it. So head tags has an opening and closing one. So sometimes they'll say before the closing head tag and sometimes um, just like Webflow describes here, it says at the end of the head tag, which is without the closing slash, but it's the same thing. Uh, we will paste it here. That's one line of code. And the second one is JavaScript, and JavaScript usually goes to, to the bottom uh, before the body tag. You don't want JavaScript to go inside the hat, hat tag because it's just going to, uh, depends on the JavaScript code, but in this case, we, we don't need to go put it there. Uh, I already have some other script here that I'm using for my website. So if you have something like that as well, just you know paste it after it. It's not a big problem. So we put that here with all the settings that we have applied there, here, these colors and everything else. And what you need to do now is uh, publish. <clears throat> and now we're gonna check it out, how it all works. Going to refresh, and there you go. So this cookie notice is gonna show up on the website and when the user clicks, it will disappear and what will happen is this code that we just installed will save that cookie on the user side and every next visit, now you can see we have three cookies and now a real cookie has been installed and it says cookie consent status, which says dismiss, which means the next time the same person comes on this website, uh, this will be checked if this cookie has been uh, dismissed and it's not gonna show. So if I refresh it, this notice again is not gonna show. So this is why you have to, you cannot install this within Webflow Designer. You could install this, obviously, this is quite easy to install using interactions. You can have this come up, you can have a click and close it. But what would happen if you just install it through Webflow's interactions is that it will show up every single time a user comes back to the site. And that's not what you want, right? So you want it to memorize and remember the user. And once you close it, so it doesn't show up again until user cleans the cookies and uh, removes the browsing data. So for example, what we can do here, if I remove this cookie, which you can do this easily in the Chrome browser, click remove and done. Now this cookie is gone. Now, well, it doesn't know, the site doesn't know what are my preferences about this uh, banner. So if I refresh, it will show up again. Cool, right? That's all there is to it. This is how I install very easily for free. Uh, nice cookie notice on Webflow site.